Hopefully you got a very good idea about the states of the memory and the various activities that are going on non-stop and you must have understood the significance of this these states the states control our lives the states determine what kind of experiences we get we do not have any control over these states they are purely mechanical they come and go it is funny because we take responsibility of these states and i was in this state and i turned myself into that state but that never happens and because they go on like a machine the experience that we get is not optimal it is not always ideal and the biggest disadvantage is that we remain in ignorance because of this lack of control so we are going to explore some practices to give a direction to these activities of memory and even before i utter the first sentence about the practices here is a warning whatever follows the instructions the information and the knowledge prescriptions advices and suggestions they are meant for your information only nobody else is responsible for any consequences that can happen if you use or misuse these experiments except you you should not even think of doing these things without the help and the guidance of an expert somebody who has already done all these things and somebody who is experienced practitioner these experiments are like conducting precision surgery on your mind and just like you wouldn't do it on your body you always take help of a surgeon a doctor somebody who is extremely experienced and intelligent you do not do these things without any guidance although these practices they are they look very innocent they seem to be very very easy but they are experiments that is their results are not guaranteed and we cannot predict what can happen so another main point to note here is that these practices or experiments are totally optional all you need is knowledge you don't need to do anything with it the knowledge does everything the knowledge is like a seed which will take root and will become a tree the effect of the knowledge will be seen automatically on this whole instrument so these are completely optional these are for those who think that merely knowledge is not enough to speed up their progress they want to go faster and they don't feel like being spiritual whatever that means if they are not doing something to be spiritual so something is given to this kind of person to keep them busy and these practices are not totally useless if they work if they are done properly if they are done under the guidance of a very competent guru if you do not like them if you do not have any interest in them then please do not do them they are not required and if they are a pleasure for you if you feel like a fish in the water then they are meant for you and nothing is mandatory here it is not some kind of discipline although nothing is possible without a discipline but uh, you are free to take them up any time and you are free to give them up any time only that you are not free to twist them or to modify them to such an extreme that they become corrupt and now nothing can be said about what these practices will do to you you can tweak them according to your needs but nothing extreme should be done with them it is not that people don't do such things they do it and then they suffer from the consequences of it and they are not new they are not discovered by me they are many thousand years old and seekers all over the world are doing them since many centuries they are well established tried and tested methods those who have uh, mental diseases phobias illnesses bad mental health or, or physical health in general they should stay away from these experiments they are not for you and uh, these must must not be done willingly just to check what happens the matter of curiosity is over now this is very very practical this is not philosophy there is no theory here 
Now those who are wondering that uh, previously I said that on the path of knowledge there are no practices at all. And I can repeat the same thing. There are no practices at all. These are optional things. Once you have the knowledge, the awareness should awaken by itself. And you should be able to keep it on. But if that does not happen, then just try to be aware. Just try to live in knowledge. Don't need any practice. It is very easy. It is easier than breathing. Go and check my video episode on awareness and practices, which will be in the episode number 17. It follows directly after the episode on self-realization. So, what is our objective here? Why should we do all these practices that are following? The objective is to achieve complete control over the activities of memory or the states of memory. You already know what are the activities. You already know all the states. And now you can understand Then this is a huge task. It can take many years of practice, many lifetimes. You can say that this is your spiritual goal. If you take it up, it is a big commitment. It is not something to be done for one day or one weekend, for one month. It is a lifestyle. The practices are going to change your life and you will need to change your life in order to practice. And it does not end. There is no end to it. It is a gradual refinement and a continuous refinement. You must be wondering that there is nobody to control anything. So who is it that achieves complete control over whatever is happening in the universal memory? There is nobody there. The individual is an illusion. Who is going to control all those activities and states? So that is completely correct. There is nobody to control. The system controls itself. These practices, when taken on, change the entire entity, change the whole of the structure in the memory so that it attains some kind of control, some kind of direction, some kind of order, a low entropy state. It is better able to maintain itself, which is its objective anyway. It is already trying to control everything. It is already trying to survive and sustain itself, make itself better and better and better. That is the whole evolution. And we recognize this direction that is inherent in this structure and we give it a helping hand. That's all. There are only two ways to go in evolution. One is forward and the other is backward. There is no stagnation. If the layers they stagnate, they stop evolving, the result is devolution. The result is destruction. And so, by necessity, only those structures remain that take the other option, which is to go forward. And we recognize this tendency in the universal memory and we cooperate with it. We come up with ways, tricks to enhance, to speed up this evolution. This is the objective. Now, since it is happening by itself and there is timelessness, you don't really need to worry about it. All you need to worry about is that you don't make the mistakes here. Like they say, don't fix it if it's not broken. If you are in a good state of awareness, in knowledge, all your actions are happening in intelligence, you are happy and free, then you don't need to do anything. Don't clean it if it is not dirty. And these practices are not for everyone. There are certain prerequisites. The first is uh, you must listen to the teachings. Whatever has been given in the last 30-35 episodes, you must go through all that. And then simply listening is not enough. You need to contemplate on it. You need to introspect on these teachings after listening to them. Find out the meaning in them. Are they logical? Are they rational? Are they according to the criteria for truth? Whatever is your criteria, you are free to choose your criteria, what is true, what is false. And you evaluate these teachings. They are not meant to be blindly believed. It is not a religion. It is also not a philosophy, not a play of words. It is something higher. It is not science or theories or mathematics only. It is much higher than that. So take your time. Learn what is taught here. And then finally, you need to verify it using your direct experience. If it is not according to your experience, throw away everything. Now this complete channel is useless for you. If you don't find any any bit of truth here, not a single grain of truth here, then there is no point in proceeding. There is no point in doing all this, these practices or experiments. There is one strange thing that as you do the, the experiments, 
the teachings will verify themselves but uh, if you are doubtful then probably it won't happen you need to verify the teachings first find out if they are true or not then number 2 you need the self knowledge if you don't know your own essence you won't be able to do any of these exercises all the practices are going to fail if you don't know what is your essence and i should add that uh, realization of oneness will be very helpful although it is not a must you should have a little bit of idea of what it is you should have an understanding of what is awareness and what is attention and you should have a thorough understanding of what are these layers that i keep talking about what is this memory and this understanding should be according to your own experience it should not be merely words oh he said these are the layers those are the layers and you memorize the names of them that is not knowledge that is not understanding that is rote learning and similarly you should have understanding of all the activities or states you should keenly and deliberately observe all the activity and, and the states verify that they are indeed present they are really there you should know that these are the part of the illusion not of the truth so only the relative truth applies here not the absolute truth for absolute truth you don't need any experiments or any practices it is self evident and it is shining right now right here so where do i get all this knowledge where are all those prerequisites that means you need to listen to the whole series again it is all given nothing is left and that is why these practices come later in the series the basic knowledge has been given already if you went through the series uh, thinking that probably i am not going to use this knowledge again in my life and now you suddenly are interested in using it to practice it to experiment with it then i would recommend that uh, you refer to all those episodes whenever required whenever in doubt you go and listen again contemplate again verify it again proceed and if you are stuck you can simply ask me and if even i cannot answer it then it's probably good to leave it it should not be done then and one more thing that should be noted is that these experiments must be done serially in that order in which they are presented you should not pick up an experiment let us say in the subtle states first because you think it is more interesting and the waking state is boring so i'll do that and there can be two consequences of that the first is you will be totally unsuccessful nothing will happen and the second is you will end up in some kind of trouble problem and you will need to rewind and come back to the waking state again the waking state is a good starting place because you already have some awareness here you already have some kind of attention here and it is totally absent in your dreaming state or any other state so it is very very difficult to start from some other place so they must be done in sequence in this order now you must have guessed that these uh, practices are for intermediate level or even you can say some advanced practitioners advanced seekers in uh, traditional settings or in uh, ashram settings they will not be told to you they will not be given to you till the seeker is mature enough to handle them or some light version of these practices will be given just to prepare the practitioner but this is youtube and i don't have that kind of control so you will need to do a lot of self evaluation here self assessment about whether you are ready for these things if you lack in knowledge if you lack in understanding then obviously you are not ready and even if you do it whole heartedly the results will be zero and there will be good chance of messing it up here i can provide a little bit of guidance not much the essential knowledge can be delivered over the internet but i won't come to know what you are doing this must be done under the attentive eyes of a experienced teacher do not do it yourself and if you have a teacher then you don't need my guidance all i can do is answer this doubt or that doubt this question or that question that's all i cannot evaluate your progress sitting here so as you must have guessed there are going to be three major categories of these practices corresponding to three major states 
but i am going to divide it into four categories the waking dreaming subtle states and sleep i have divided the dreaming into two because it's too big to handle and now you can imagine that this is going to be a very long series of videos so these are not for the impatient kind it is it is a serious job <laughs>